大家好，欢迎来到我频道。Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled to have you with me again. It's Miss Kaka, 我是佳佳老师。In today's video, we'll continue our exploration of the twenty-four solar germs. If this is your first time here, be sure to watch my previous video on Li Chun for a quick intro. Let's jump right into the solar germ we're going to explore today. The book is 我们的节气 compiled by Yang Yang Tu and published by Taishan Chuban Shu. In terms of solar germs, we are now well into the late autumn. Has the heat subsided where you are? 每年寒露都在十月七、八或九日。寒露 usually falls on either October the seventh, eighth, or ninth each year. 今天是十月八日，所以今年寒露在十月八日。This year, 寒露 is on October the eighth. 还记得前面的白露节气吗？寒露是另一个和露水相关的节气。寒露在农历九月，这时气温比白露时更低。天气由凉爽转为寒冷，露水快要凝结成霜了。还 still 记得 to recall 前面 before 白露 a solar germ talked in episode twenty three. 另 another 和相关 be related to 农历 Chinese calendar. 这时 by now 气温 air temperature 比 then 更 much more 低 low 由 from 转为 to turn to 凉爽 coolness. 寒冷 coldness, 快要了 a sentence structure which indicates something will happen soon. 凝结 to condense, 霜 frost. Remember the solar term 白露 we talked about earlier. 寒露 is another solar term related to dew. It occurs in September of the Chinese calendar. At this point, the temperature are even lower than during 白露 and the weather transitions from cool to cold. Dew is on the verge of forming frost. 寒露意味着深秋的到来，寒气愈重。吃了寒露饭，单衣汗少见。从寒露开始，小朋友们就要注意保暖，穿厚一点的衣服，不能穿薄的单衣了。意味 to imply 深秋 late autumn 到来 arrival 寒气 chillness 单衣 light clothing 汗 person 注意 to take care 保暖 to keep warm 厚 thick。一点 when it's used after an adjective, it indicates a comparison. 厚一点 thicker, 薄 thin. 寒露 marks the arrival of late autumn, and the chill intensifies. There's a saying that goes, 吃了寒露饭，单衣汗少见 which means after having a meal during 寒露 you will hardly see anyone wear light clothing. Starting from the 寒露 period, children should be mindful of keeping warm and wear thicker clothing and avoid wearing thin layers. Just like all other solar germs and festivals, Hanlu also comes with its own traditional customs. People enjoy snacking on sesame-based treats and often go fishing. 吃芝麻，芝麻 sesame. Hanlu 时节，天气由凉转寒，需要多吃一些养阴防燥、润肺益胃的食物。多 is an adjective that means many or much. It is used before verb phrases to indicate doing something more. While shao is used before verb phrases to indicate doing something less, yang yin is a concept in TCM (traditional Chinese medicine) that relates to the nourishment and balance of yin aspect in the body. Fang zao in TCM describes a range of methods and measures to prevent dryness in the body or skin in dry seasons or environments. Ren fei in TCM refers to the concept of nourishing and maintaining the health of the lungs through dietary, lifestyle, and herbal methods. Yi wei is the concept from TCM and refers to the methods and practices used to improve and strengthen the functioning and the health of the stomach. During Han Lu, the weather shifts from cool to cold, and it's a good idea to consume foods that nourish in, prevent dryness, and moisten the lungs while benefiting the stomach. Han Lu 这天，人们会特意吃含芝麻的食物，比如芝麻酥、芝麻绿豆糕、芝麻烧饼等。特意 intentionally 含 to contain. On this day, people make a point to eat food containing sesame, such as sesame cookies, sesame green bean cakes. And sesame pancakes. Another tradition is 秋钓边钓 to go fishing. 在江南地区，寒露前后会有很多人去池塘或河边钓鱼，俗称秋钓边。江南地区，江南 region. It's a geographical area in southeastern China known for its scenic water towns, rich culture, and unique cuisine. 前后 around the certain time. 池塘 pond. 边 side. 河边 river banks. 
Sucheng, commonly known as in the Jiangnan region, around the time of Hanlu, many people head to ponds or river banks for fishing, a tradition known as Qiu Diao Bian. 这个时节气温下降很快，深水阳光已经照射不到了，鱼儿纷纷往水温较高的浅水区游，所以很容易钓到鱼。下降 to fall drop， 深 deep， 阳光 sunbeam 已经 already。照射 to shine upon, 纷纷 one after another, 往 towards 较 quite 浅 shallow 区 area 容易 easy. During this season, the temperature drops quickly, and the deep waters are no longer exposed to direct sunlight. As a result, fish begin to move towards shallower, warmer waters, making it much easier to catch them. We are nearing the end of autumn. Did you all have a fulfilling season? Feel free to share your highlights. Really hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. If it is helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the latest updates. 谢谢观看，再见。